Hello, welcome to the post match live. What a game, what a game, what a game, and what a win it was for the Super Eagles of Nigeria over the Elephants of Ivory Coast. 1 0 was the final score. Goal scored in the 55th minute from the spot by William Trust Ekong. A fantastic win. Very, very tough match. But the boys worked, worked so, so hard. And they got the result at the end of the day. We had to defend for like the last 15 minutes of the game. But they defended well. I'll run you through my thoughts on the game very quickly. And then I'll bring on my special guests for tonight. I'm expecting to have two Super Eagles legends in the building. Um, Taiye Taiwo, of course. And then the goalkeeper, Vincent Inyama. Um, so yes, very quickly... The lineup, Uma Bali started in goal, and Uma Bali had a fantastic game today. He was very quick off his line. He made some fantastic saves, you know, and he commanded his goal very, very well. Um, Uma Bali is really fighting to get his number one shirt for the Super Eagles, and I'm happy that he's been able to show us a fantastic performance. Stanley Uma Bali, kudos to you. Happy with your performance. In defense, we played a three-man defense or a five-man defense, depending on how you look at it. Calvin Bassi, William Trust Ekong, Shemilo Guajai. I think William Trust Ekong was so solid at the back. Commanded his defense so well. Led his team from the back. He was even coaching the players on the team. Everything that came towards Ekong, he defended. He sent it back. He won all his headers, all his aerial battles. A true captain's performance. And then when we won the penalty in the 55th minute, he stepped up in true captain style. Smashed it into the back of the net. The winning goal of the match. William Trust Ekong, a fantastic performance. In my estimation, I think Ekong was the best player today. I'm giving him my own man of the match. You guys might think differently, but I think I'm giving Ekong my man of the match for today. Calvin Bassi also had a fantastic showing at left center back and even playing at left back towards the end of the game. Calvin Bassi made six tackles, one interception, three clearances, and he won nine duels throughout the match. He was solid. He was fantastic. You know, defended very well. Um, kudos to Calvin Bassi. I cannot even complain about anything from him today. Um, Shemi Ajayi, on the right side of the centre-backs, he had one tackle, one interception, three clearances. Shemi Ajayi was also good, you know, assisted by William Trust Ekong and Calvin Bassi and Olaino. Olaino was also fantastic from the right wing-back position. You know, he was showing his takers and also tracking back very well to defend. Honestly, the defensive line was very, very good. Zedu Sanusi didn't have the best game. In the first half, Ivory Coast seemed to be picking on Zedu Sanusi. They were playing most of their balls through that side, trying to take advantage of him. He made a mistake early in the match that Uma Bali covered up for him quite well. Uma Bali was quick off his line, um, you know, but he also recovered one time and made a fantastic block after Uma Bali had saved a shot from... Um, Seko Fafana. Um, so Sanusi didn't have the best start to the game, but I think he found his feet eventually and then he was eventually subbed off later in the match. Um, Franco Yeka, much, much better, much improved performance by Franco Yeka in this match compared to the, the first game against Equatorial Guinea. Onyeka made his presence felt in midfield. He was marshalling the, the midfield. I thought we might be a little bit exposed in midfield because of, you know, playing only two against the three of, of um, Ivory Coast. But Onyeka had a good game. He was fighting for everything. He was making tackles. You know, he, he had a fantastic game. And committed most of his passes as well. Made two fine tackles, two interceptions, two clearances. Completed 88% of his, of his passes. Fought really hard for the team. Kudos to Frank Onyeka. Alex Iwobi um, playing alongside him in midfield. Iwobi was playing deeper than, you know, maybe he might like ordinarily. So he wasn't as creative as we could have wanted him to be. But I think he still had a decent game. He worked really hard for the team. As almost everybody on the field did, to be fair. Worked really hard for the team. He created one chance, you know, in the game. Unfortunately, didn't lead to a goal. But still, you know, had a decent game. I wouldn't say anybody was bad today. Um, but it will be was okay. You know, it wasn't quite amazing like the defenders. But it was okay, nevertheless. Um, and then moving on to the attack. 
Samuel Chukweze. Samuel Chukweze started the match with fire. Samuel Chukweze started the match. He was working hard. He was doing everything. Chukweze played a fantastic through ball to Victor Osime. In the ninth minute of the game, it was a it was it was it was a bad mess. Um Osime. I'm not I'm not going to um, criticize anybody today because we won the match and we're happy, but it was a bad miss. Osime should have at least got that ball on target, but it was a fantastic pass by Samuel Chukweze, two balls to set up that chance. Um Ademola Lukman, Ademola Lukman was fantastic today. Fantastic today. Was was creating opportunities for us. And I think one of the most impressive things that Ademola Lukman did today was he was winning free kicks in and around the middle of the park. When we're under pressure, you give the ball to Ademola Lukman and he'll be able to win a free kick and just ease the pressure on the team. You know, just slow the game down and allow us to be able to move our players forward. And of also in attack, he was working hard. His set pieces were dangerous. I don't know why Sanusi was taking corner kicks and free kicks at the start of the game, but when he switched to Lukman, Lukman was, was playing some dangerous set pieces. Lukman created three goal scoring chances in this match and I was very, very impressed by Ademola Lukman. I think so far in this AFCON, over the two matches, Lukman was probably our best player. Um, and then, yeah, Victor Osime up front. Osime didn't have the best game of his life. Could have done better for sure. Um, could have scored a goal. But at the end of the day, Osime won the penalty for us. You know, so we have to give him some credit. Um, he won the penalty that was converted. And all in all, you know, we go in with a one year win. Um, let me just talk about the bench very quickly. Moses Simon came on, didn't do too much in the game, but also to be fair to him, as at the time that he came on, we were kind of just sitting back and trying to play on the counter. Um, so it wasn't really a game that was built for him to come and really impress. Um, a few a few times he tried to beat his man, wasn't successful with it, but I'm not going to knock him for his performance today. Um, Brother Sai Samuel came on, defended well, um, helping Olai know at the right side of the defense. Did a pretty good game. Onwachu came on and Onwachu was quite good. You know, you bring him on at that late time of the game. Onwachu's job was win headers, hold up the possession and bring, you know, ease the pressure on the defense. And I think Onwachu did his job very, very well. I was happy with Onwachu's performance. And then Kenneth Omero, no nonsense center back. Omero is not a center back that wants to be passing the ball around. Omero is not a center back that wants to be showing that he has skill. Or that he can play on the ball. The ball comes in, Omero sends it back. The ball comes in again, Omero sends it back. Very, very pleased with Omero's performance. So there you have it. Overall, I'll rate this team performance a 7.5 out of 10. I think we can still do better. I think that we still had a few chances to create opportunities. You know, by the side, someone had one mazy run that he didn't quite find the time to get a shot off or to pass. You know, Chukwese had one nice run that he could have passed the ball to Lukman, but he lost it. Um, all in all, good win for the Super Eagles. Post match show. Somebody that you all will know, somebody that I'm sure you all will be happy to hear from. This is a Super Eagles party. So please um, enjoy with us. Hello. Hello. Yes, good, good, good evening. Um, welcome. What's happening? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Long time, long time. The last time Absolutely. I spoke to you was was on your birthday a couple years ago. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you for coming on. Um, for anybody that maybe you were born in maybe you were born in 2005 or you were born in 2010 <laughs> and you don't know who's on your screen. This is the legendary, legendary Super Eagles defender, Tai Taiwo. Thank you very much for running the post match show. You welcome. You welcome. You welcome. Yes. Um, so I'll I'll start by asking you. You know, we just watched the game. One you win against Ivory Coast. What did you think of the performance by the boys? I think for the the performance from the boys is about the the as they play five at the back though. Yeah. So because if you play five at the back, so you give them more security as the goalkeeper as well. You know what I'm saying? Because if you play at the five at the back, they have more security that the wings they can go more forward like Osime and. Um, uh the other players they have more they don't need to drop so deep to come and defend because if you play four four three three today i don't think we're going to win the game so this performance today like when we play five at the back it gives us like more confidence our striker they don't need to drop so much that's why we won the game today mm. 
And you said you don't think we would have won the game if we had played 43. So do we deserve to give praise to the coach for making the tactical decision? Because a lot of fans have insulted the coach in the past. You think the, <laughs> the, coach, the coach, in your opinion, made the right decision today? Absolutely. Because, like, I because, for example, because they have very good players that's up top. They have a lot of fast players. One way, one, because if you run all the way, like, like our football today, like, all I know, fantastic today. You know what I'm saying? Like, one v one, you cannot even cross the ball. You defend very well. Because, like, they have the security at the back, you know? Because if you have the security, and the goalkeeper at the back also, like, they are, a father at the back, he will give you more confidence. Because, you know, even though that I will see men, Look more, they are up to if they lose the ball, they don't need to run all the way 100 meter pass wall because they have a lot of back players at the back, they are waiting for the ball to defend their wall. Mm. And, and you mentioned the goalkeeper when you're talking. Let me ask you, you know, um, Uma Bali in the first match, he didn't really, you know, have too much threat, so we <laughs> couldn't really judge him. But in today's game, you know, Ivory Coast had a few chances. Um, how do you think the goalkeeper did today? And because, like, why our first game, why I don't really talk much about the first game because this is their first game they need to play as as a group you know because the weather is very hot also you know it's very hard when you are playing in europe this period is cold then if you go back home it's very hard to play so sometimes you need to hold the ball and i think our first game we don't move the ball quicker if you will move the ball quicker we did today we're going to win the first game also because today they determined they want to win the game because they move the ball quicker everybody was a defender they are doing their job and the midfield are doing that, the striker are doing that. That's why we won the game. Because Ivory Coast, they believe that because they are they are the old nation, they're going to win every game. So we take the game to them. That's why we get the three points there. And something that you know is that jumps out to me when I look at the statistics of the match. Ivory Coast had 64% possession and Nigeria had 36. But at the end of the day, we got the win. Um, you you know, okay. you were a defender in your day. So when you are playing a game like that and you're allowing the opponents to have a lot of the ball. Do you think it adds any kind of additional pressure to the team? Because for the last 10, 15 minutes, I was watching this game and I was praying that God, please, God, please. You know, how, you know, how, because, how easy or hard is it to play in a game like that? Because why it's more different is because like them, if they have possession of the ball, because we know we are the five at the back, and then we have people up top, we'll see me. if you give it one against one, it's going to rock them down and look one as well you know what i'm saying so we have the opportunity as soon as give them good ball they're going to do the job for them they will defend at the back you know what i'm saying so that's the difference hey it's not it's I not hail. the difference <laughs> <laughs> i hear okay i hear nobody i'm good thank you, thank you very much <laughs> congratulations <laughs> to us <Ross. Yeah. laughs> Um, for anybody again, maybe you were born in 2010 or you were born in 2015. The second man on your screen now is the legendary Super Eagles goalkeeper, Vincent Inyama. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, yeah. thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes. So just very quickly, you know, what was your thoughts um, on the on the match today, the win? I mean, um, seriously, um, it's one of the games I've seen Nigeria play with um, a bit of. Um, plan a bit of plan defensively we were compact and solid which is um, a big kudos to the coach i i mean i told my family that um, the way we need to attack this game is with a three five two and it's exactly what the guy did at the point he was three and at the point he was five you know so which is very good defensively there was a plan mm. defensively there was a plan and that like Ty, Ty said it gave the opportunity for others to go forward Knowing that the back is secured, I mean, which was really mm. very good. Uh, congratulations to the team. They did so well. Stanley came in very big in the game. The calmness, the confidence was excellent. Mm. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of the leadership. I'm proud of the coaching. It was, um, it was a great game. No, it was definitely a great game and a great win. And you mentioned, mm -hmm. you mentioned Stanley. And I wanted to ask you about him because... Of course, you're a goalkeeper. You know, you're a goalkeeper in your day. How you know? How nice is it to have a, a goalkeeper that can put in that kind of performance? Um, um, being a, is, I think that it will be his first big game. Uh, he yeah. did well. He did well. For if not for anything, but for the confidence, um, for the calmness he brought into the defense line, he did very well. Um, 
I, I didn't really see all the game, but then he did very well. I heard he made a few stops. I'm proud of him. I'm so proud of the, the fact that he, he kept a clean sheet. Yes, that's, yes. that's really good. My prayer now is that he should build on it. Let him build on what he's done today. Let him build so far on what he's done. Uh, I mean, let's, no, I'm, let, let him build so, uh, on what he's done so far. So that's really my prayer. So I mean, amazing, amazing. Um, okay, let me quickly just jump back to um, King Tai Tai Wu. Um, so looking at this game, you know, in the first match, a lot of people were saying that, ah, the chances that um, Sanu sees this, Tai Tai Wu would have scored it. Now, coming to this second half... I'm ready to send that one. I'm going to send that one. You know, um, I'm coming to this second game. You know, what do you think of Tai Tai uh, Mala, of Sanu yes. performance? He was playing, you know, from the left wing back, was making some good runs into the area, and was also on set pieces. What do you think of his performance today? I think he, he started the game very poor in little bit though. No, okay. you know, he's not maybe bad as a bad fullback. He, he started the game a little bit uh, a little bit slow, like slow. But I think that maybe like first 15 minutes, maybe he was thinking, oh, what am I going to do? Then I then then I realized that this point is very important. Then he started doing his dirty job as a fullback. So he really played well today for me. At least he really did well today. Mm. And I'll, I'll, I'll also ask you what you think about Calvin Bassi's performance. Because towards the end of the game, Bassi switched to the left back position. And he was up against, you know, fresh legs in Singo and Diakite. And he was just every cross that he wanted to take. He was blocking, he was winning tackles. What do you think of Calvin Bassi as well? You know, because like the energy is going to come. Why the energy is coming as like right, our number one goalkeeper, Vincent Yama, him don't want them to score when he was there. He don't want anybody. So like he's going to shout from you from behind, don't like to cross the ball, do the dirty job. So the energy is going to come because you know like it's only like 10 minutes or 15 minutes to finish the game. And uh, your job is to defend, they don't ask you to go up top to go and cross any ball. Just to use your strength, defend, give the ball to the or look more, they're going to do the right job. So, the fantastic defensive job. Mm. And um, back to Mr. Yama quickly. Um, I want to ask you, Legend, you know, Echo today, I thought he was a fantastic performance by him. Even if you forget about the goal that he scored, he matched out his defense well. All the balls in the air, he was heading them, winning all the tackles. How good is it to have a defender like that in front of the goalkeeper? Ekong, I mean, he's grown in confidence, he's grown in experience, he's grown with the team. He's been there for like 10 years now, close to, if I'm correct. So, I mean, he, he should bring that to the team, the stability in the middle of the park. I mean, I'm proud of him, I'm really proud of what he did. But I think um, the last few minutes that I saw before I left, I watched the whole of the first half, I watched a few of the second half, the whole defensive structure was solid. At a point, I saw five at the back, which is something you never see with a Nigerian team. It's more common with a French team, French African team. Once they score you one, they pack the bus. It's quite <laughs> un uh, it's an uncommon thing with a Nigerian team to pack the bus. Nigerian, we're known for playing the flair, okay. the enjoyment yeah. game, and all of that. So for us to see five behind, four in front, and then one, it was solid. It was amazing to see that because that's really common with the French teams. But I'm I'm grateful that we have someone like Ekon, we have someone like Sammy, the tall guy. Next to Ekon, we have Calvin. Calvin was solid. Calvin was solid. The right back was solid. You know, the team was... Oh. He brings double bonus, you know? <laughs> it was it was well, so increase the bonus for these guys. Imagine, <laughs> yes. I, you know now. You know. <laughs> but the most important thing is to not to like the winning. Galant is winning. Galant is winning. Galant is winning. Galant is winning. You know? I mean, I do the talk, sir, but that's the truth. <laughs> no, I mean, congratulations to the team. Congratulations. But it's reality now. It's reality now. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, pray, I pray to leave you guys um, because I've been out with the family. Uh, I'm so sorry. That's uh, why I was upping in and upping out. No, th no problem. No thank problem. you very much, Legend. Yeah, for thank you so much nice, for having nice me. Nice to hear from you. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so, King Titi, I'll, I'll go back yeah. to you um, very quickly. You know, Ademola Lukman in this game. Um, 
I think you know he he was one of our key creative outlets. Okay. Getting the ball, moving it forward, you know, winning free kicks to ease the pressure on the defense. Uh, what do you have to say mm -hmm. about his performance today? Because as I say, like look, more he's playing in in Italy, Atalanta, no? because this is a position that he loved to play. He always had the ball. He helped them a lot also in the team before he left to Afcon. So because he's very good players, as I said earlier before, like what is different to this game from the last game is about like like Lukman in the first game, all their strength they used to defend so much at the back. But today we have a security at the back. So the only strength if they have the ball like they talk in the midfield, they will get the ball, free ball from there, then it's easy for them to go to use their strength to dribble one against one. So Lukman was fantastic today. Mm. Also Simer because if you the goalkeeper shoot the ball, Osimer is going to go for the header. Because if you want to win the game, the most important thing for you to have a tall striker. If the goalkeeper launch the ball, the second ball is very important. Mm. Welcome, um, Sulaiman. Uh, yes, thanks for joining. Um, this, is what I'm doing. this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> so, but hopefully, to... hopefully, hopefully, the win today was able to warm you up a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> what did you think it, of the game? To be fair, I think the we. I, I did not expect a lot from the Ivorians. So I wasn't surprised how they played. I think they played under pressure. They 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 knew that they had to. They need to. They needed to have a result today. They had the fans behind them. But let's be fair. We soaked up the pressure. The formation was actually a good formation. I was very surprised from Jose Pacero. A three-four-three formation, which nullified their existence in midfield. I barely saw Frank Kessie every now. I saw him every now and then. <clears throat> but what we did was the fullbacks. I tell you, you were you were once a wing back yourself. You know, I'm sure you admired you admired <laughs> Ola, you know, and um, and as uh, <laughs> bombing forward at all times. Every time we had the ball, that was our outlet. You know, um, I think if Osimhen had gotten that one chance he got in the first half, it would have probably settled him a little bit. I actually wanted him to play the penalty personally. No. So I feel like if you have, if you have, personally. <laughs> Personally, no, no, personally, no, 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 so okay, like okay, I'm the Osime. Everybody knows yeah. he's a very good striker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know how you like the defender as a at the back, the captain. Say, Osime, please. I know you are a good striker, you're going to score the goal. But this penalty, let me just at least go there and sky the goal. I don't even want the goalkeeper to go left or let me just put it like a boom. <laughs> ah, to let's score the goal because we, let's, we need let's, 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 let, let's, let's not pull a uh, what's his name? Um oh. No, uh, ah, no, that one. <laughs> that one, they're still looking for the ball, apparently. They said they're still looking for a Versitao's ball. Say the ball, they, 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 it's from Korogo or where to... So, the ball's so, on the way to... Slaman, Slaman, ask you something. I, I would have to agree with um, King Titi on this one. Honestly, okay. when that penalty came, after Osime had missed that first chance early in the match, I feel like he would have felt like, okay, I need to make sure I score this. And so this sometimes... One. Sometimes when you overthink it a little bit, that's when you have your no, I, I, I want him to score see, goals. See, see, I, I, I understand, but I think from what the way I was looking at it was from the perspective of the psychological part where if he scored that one, it calms no, him down. Know. He's not snatching yeah, he's not I, snatching I at everything. It would be better for him to score in the flow of the game. game. If we if we were leading to zero and we yeah. got the penalty, maybe they can give him okay score because we're already leading, mm -hmm. and, you know, just let him get his confidence. But for me, oh, considering the fact that he already missed that early chance, that he knows he should have done better with it to add some pressure. And King Titi, I want to ask you, you know, um, yeah. in the first game, Osime missed two good chances. Mm -hmm. In the second game, he missed a good chance. We all know mm -hmm. how good Osime is. Yeah. Should, should we should we should we be a little bit worried? Because in, in the tough matches, if we get to the quarterfinal, semi-final, we might only have one or two chances in the whole match. You know, I'm sure. so should we be worried or is it is it okay mm. and we should still be calm? 
No, for me, la, the only thing that because it's a very good so he's played for he's a very good club. He played Napoli. So for me, the only thing he's gonna work on that is very aggressive striker though. So when he's in front of the goal, he wants to score all the time. I know. But sometimes, like when you're like one v one with the goalkeeper, you need to have the skill a little bit. Like the chance that you scored last time, the second goal, that one should be scored. Because the goalkeeper is on the ground already. Just like one thing, the goalkeeper is going to the other side. You dribble a little bit and score. This wall line, you need to come a little bit inside the box with the ball. Like one v one with the goalkeeper. Let's, because let's it's good be, with the head. It can let, let's, well, let's, be, I'm saying. let's be fair though. Let's be fair. Ty, that chance that yeah. he missed in the first half, the ball bounced a little bit too. That pitch wasn't looking too good. It was looking like where cows I know. The pitch I didn't say that. that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But for oh, me, no, not true, but you, I'm just saying in general. Yeah, people saying, that are blaming him. Yeah, I know. People are blaming him. The ball bounced in front of him right there. It was, so you, it know, wasn't you know, like you know, know why people are blaming him? Is because like why they are blaming him? Because they know so easy to see. He have the quality to score this goal. That is why people is blaming him. So if you miss another players now, people is going to say why well, it's normal. But that is why they say okay, like because it's so That is why everybody say you yeah. should score this goal because you have the quality to score this goal. Yeah. And, and I would agree with, with that because, I mean, if I miss that kind of chance, I'll just look at you and sorry. But <laughs> when, 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 when you have a, you know, a top striker, one of the best strikers in the world, you expect him to score that kind of chance. So I understand. Absolutely. What, you know, um, hopefully, you know, he can find his feet. I, I want him to win golden Absolutely. boots. So he needs, to, he needs to score more because Nsuwe has already scored three goals today. So I need Osime to catch up. Um, but still, it was, it, was, it was a decent one. He was still able to win that penalty for us. Um, and the, the thing that I, I love true. about Victor Osime is that no matter how he's playing, he's going to fight every single time. When the ball comes near him, he's running, he's fighting, he's giving everything. And, you know, I'm sure the coach will tell him that he should just keep doing what he's doing. The goal will come eventually. Um, okay. Um, King Titi, let me ask you also about Samuel Chukweze. Samuel Chukweze, you know, in the first game, a lot of people were not really happy with his performance. Uh, but coming into this mm -hmm. game against Ivory Coast, Coach Joseph Pesero gave him the start, you know, from the beginning. He said, come and show us what you can do. What do you think of his performance, Chukweze, today? For me, like, uh, you know, because why Chukweze is not like 100% yet, because they don't give him the, the opportunity to play so much in Italy, Milan, man. He only plays a couple of like three months, one game. So like when he was in Villa, yeah, nobody can catch him because he play every game. Because if you play more every game, you have more confidence to, to play the game, to show the skill. But now at least, maybe in the last game that we're going to play in the group, if they're starting in the same way, I don't think we should play. I think we have the quality to do better than what we did today. I think we take this kind of energy to the next game. I think we'll go through. We don't need to worry about either because maybe they win 10 0 or 3 0. We just worry about ourselves. So for me, at least it's not bad. Both of them, three of them with, uh, with uh, Osime, with Lukman, three of them up top, they are alive because they are very quick. Mm. Then I because the trend they are very slow, kind of. Then we have people that are very quick, you know. So that's the advantage that we use today for them. Somebody, um, King Tizi, somebody in the comments, uh, Taiwo looks young. He can still play left back for us. <laughs> 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 It's true, man. You know, it's, it's funny how a lot of us grew up watching you the nostalgia of the twenties to the super eagles from Oxair to Milan, you know, and 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 it's good to see you that you know, even after um, after you. the national team, yes, you you know, you you're still you're still keeping up with what's going on, which is good. Thank Let you. me ask you, you though, out of all the fullbacks, yeah. which one of them is your favorite? Mm. You mean like every fullback in Africa, Tai, Gedu, Bruno? Which of them is your favorite? You have to there has, there has to be one that you like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying because like. This question that he has is kind of hard though because I can't say okay, like for example, I have to choose I know because it's right back because I know it was fantastic today. You know what I'm saying? He did a very good job to the defensive or offensive was like awesome, you know. Like so I think I will take I know. Mm, all I know. And I mean to be fair, all I know is calm. He's, he's very there's something about him. He's very calm. Like it's almost like he yeah. doesn't see the crowd. Same thing in the first game again, too. He he has a certain sense of calmness defensively and then going forward he knows how to read the game like the guy he's one of our best players one of one of the best fullbacks we've had since you you played for the national team back in the day you know? and, and you know all i know i like him a lot he plays with his swagger 
you know, he, he just plays like it's just him and, you know, his, his boys and he's enjoying That's himself. Right. And then you look at him, he looks like he, as if he's sagging his shot a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just enjoying himself, you know, he has, he has skill. You know, in the first game, we saw one good run that he played the ball um, one side of the def uh, defender, ran the other side. And then went to that side to go and get it. He, he, he has a lot of quality, yep. and I'm, I'm really happy to see him playing like this. Even at the other, at the, is it the last half corner in 2019? Yeah, he, he played from left back as well, and he's still putting a solid mm -hmm. uh, performance. You know, I know. You, you remember, remember, the 20, remember the 2019 pass he gave to Igalo? Igalo, yes, against for, Burundi. That, for that goal. Against Burundi. I mean, so, just out of the. And then the so, most yes. important thing again for like our full back. Yeah, the most important thing for them, like they need to work on their crosses also. Yes, thank you. There's a reason why we play three four three for the full back to, you know to push saying? up and help with crosses. Yeah, you know, there's important. a reason why we play the three four three. But then again, I won't blame them. The pitch was bad, though. Let's be fair. That's yeah, they know. Really. Pitch. The like there's nothing we can do about it. It's African country. The there's nothing we can do about it. Our pitch no, was bad, but the pitch, the pitch, the pitch, the pitch in Abidjan, the other one at Hufe uh, Bioni, that one was better. This one. If like, say they put a wood like they, they, they get ready for Salah. They go put Salah means they really go, they go chop for there. Damn it. That first chance was in my head. You go back and look at it. When he kicked the ball, the, the grass came off the ground now. They, mm. Almost like a huge chunk of grass came off the ground. Like literally, I like, see they, they are getting ready for Salah. They went and put a wood there to go and chop there. That's how it comes. Okay. Let me, let me guys, like you said, these are guys that play in Europe consistently. They are playing yeah. on correct pitches. You know, I said that you now come to all this yellow yeah, yeah, pitch and I'll be able it's to perform. Hard, always come on. Hard, always come on. Come on. It's very hard. Let, let me ask a question to, to King Titi. You know, in your day, you were the kind of yeah. player that when the ball comes to you on the edge of the box, anywhere like 25 yards, the crowd is, is shouting, shoot! Because <laughs> we know that you have a, a very dangerous left foot. That is not something that we see in today's Super Eagles. Do you think it is important for a team to have a few players that have that quality shot from outside the box? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can see the uh, for Fana also from Ivory because he tried a couple of shooting from long distance. So, because it's a bonus for the team because they know that when you have to strike the ball very well, the other team is don't allow him to you don't give him room to have the chance to shoot the ball. It's a bonus also. Sometimes maybe you can play a game that is a very difficult game. Like maybe it's the last thing you have free kick. They will Lay the ball for you, then you strike. You know, it's a bonus also. But you know, everybody have his quality. That has. like, for example, when I change your cement, the striker that I jump in now, him, for example, he did very great job for the last 15 minutes. Because why? Every quality is different. When him there, the coach said to him, What I want you to go and do the field, as soon as the ball come, put it on your chest and make foul. This is what the coach brought him for, you know. Mm. So, at least with this one, I think we can able to try to work on all this color. Little thing, I think. Why not? We can go more far than this competition. Okay, and um, in this match, you know, yeah. King Titi, who would you say was your player of the match? We had a number of good performances, but who is the person that stood out to you the most? I, I would say, uh, is I know. Well, I know. Mm. Yeah, you know why so I'm what, choosing your line. What, what, what am I not surprised? Line. A defender choosing a defender. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> 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 you know why I'm choosing your line now? It's because, like, I think the first game, there's one ball with the captain, you know, it should go for the header. You know, everybody, like, somebody was, ah, I like, no, it should be so. But at least today's game, because why they are also solid, because defensive work was awesome. Yeah. So that is why all the football, but why I'm choosing your line now? Because, like, it really game very well, you know. You know the time to run forward, you know the time to run backward. So that is why I will choose him for the man of the match there. Mm. Amazing. I see some people in the comments are agreeing with you. Some people said Basi. I said Ekong. You know, Sulaiman, who was your <laughs> player of the match? Ah, Omo. Because I like players that go forward. I think I didn't like the time. I had a great game today. But I, I would uh, agree. A lot I know as well. But Calvin Basi towards the end of the game, the boy looked like he was unstoppable. Yeah. Like, he literally looked like he just had a, a bowl of bad jam. Like, anything that came his way, he was clearing it. Like, when, like you saw that time when they said, for that, you know, 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 there was one moment in the match that I was so happy with Calvin Bassi. It was when, um, from, from our set piece, and they played the ball long, and Fofana was chasing him. And Fofana is a strong player normally, so Fofana thought he can just body this guy. And Kamimasi said no, and he pushed him to the ground. 
And I was just happy. I said, next time, he will remember you when he's coming. He won't just think and move like that. No, Calvin Bassi was really solid. And for the, when he switched to left back, all the crosses that they were trying to play between um, Singo and mm -hmm. Diakite, he was blocking every yep, single everything. one of them. But you, 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 know, you know what's funny about Calvin? This time, literally, two years ago, he was playing his first major match for Nigeria, World Cup qualifier against Ghana. And everybody was putting him down. I said, you can't put this young man in a big game of that magnitude and expect it to be his first game and to play the world. You know, like Tyre, you said, you didn't just, they didn't just throw you into the deep end at the national team. They, they walked you into it, right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. And you, you have to wait for the time, the right time. time. Because, Look at there's him no, now. There's no, they don't give you any time when you want to play for Nigeria. As soon as you come, you have, if you don't do that magic, the journalist starts saying, ah, I'm not telling him more. Exactly. Boy, you die. No That's what Nigeria said. Nigeria said, Nigeria said, Nigeria said, don't call him again. Don't call Luman again. And I was like, look, these are their first major matches against Ghana. I was at that stadium. I'm looking like, hey, I'm a, I sure the boys can perform at this level. But over time, giving them credit, you know, and giving them the time. Look at how those two have been greeted themselves in the national team. Somebody said, I won't pick Kong. I don't score the penalty. I'll give him that. You know, he played well. Everything that came his way, he took care of it. Another player that people are not going to give credit to is Omero. Omero came into the game and said, this is Baz Bos at this point in time <laughs> to the end of the game. Any ball that comes in here, I declare him. I know the real story. He played that, you know, backyard, back in the I'll, day. I'll where very surprised that the referee don't even give him yellow card. Where do want to play? Come on, you chain with him. Why are you forget your chain? Why are you forget your chain? I will say to you, man. Why are you going forget your chain? But, but you know, he's it, it, in the end of the moment. He, he probably was so excited to get on the pitch, he, he forgot. And yeah, it happens. Absolutely. It happens. I, and you know the, the chain was the most finesse thing about Omero because like Sidlai said, Omero is that natural, no nonsense center back. He's not the center back that wants to come and be spraying pass for you. He's not the center back that wants to be dribbling the ball. The ball comes in, the ball goes back. That's Omero. Omero the Omero the pocketed drug bar at AFCON in 2013. And we need Omero the pocketed drug bar. We need players like that. Um, okay, let me welcome Coach Obi Ojimadu. Um, thank you for joining the live. Yeah, greetings everyone. Good Suleiman, a real striker. Tai Taiwo. Respect. Good respect. You won't up to see everyone. You won't call up me. I declare. I declare. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do okay. Yeah, they're training. So let me <laughs> take. So let me take time and have it. What, um, what I'll say is this. I think uh, for me, this is the best. This is the best Super Eagles match I've seen since the time of Raw. Mm. You can argue it because here we, we saw a tactical game plan well implemented. There was plan A, there was plan B, and there was plan C. The discipline was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, you could see some mistakes here and there, but that is football for you. There's nothing perfect. But, and you saw the passion in the eyes of, of the boys. I mean, I, I, this is, I, I just relaxed, you know, we talked cross soup and there, but I was enjoying the match. I, I tensed at the same time, you know. But it was amazing. Um, you know, having buses rose to the occasion, Aina, solid as usual. And again, if you guys remember, um, Ego Strike, I've been saying it that the strength of this team is in the wing backs. Mm, I've absolutely. said it before and I will say it again. And we have to, you know, play to the strength. Using all this 4 4 2 every time, then having two midfielders in the middle there, you have three other opposing midfielders, you know, overcrowding you. Then you have the 4-4-3, four, four, then relying on wings, then you <laughs> clip the wings and everything is gone. No plan B, no plan C. But this time around, we've seen a coach, we've seen the technical department now trying to implement, to change, you know, like to adjust to the situation and play to our strength. And that is the result we've seen it today. So I wasn't surprised. And I was sure that the Ivorian defense, they, they can be caught napping. They can be clumsy. Some interviews I had two, yeah. two days ago, I told them that we just need to put a little pressure on them. Either they commit penalties okay. or they're going to just allow us to pass or have, you know, gaps in the middle and they, uh, in between them. Again, they had, the, I mean, I've always had a very, very good, you know, the midfield. But again, you saw that today we are trying to, if they move forward, we use long balls and we have people, bodies up there trying to push. So we stretched them very it. well, very, very well. And we made them, you know, they got confused at the end of the day. They didn't know what to do anymore. So... In general, I would say, like, this is an absolute, this is a master class, I would say. I mean, I've not praised this team ever for a long time, but I would say that today everything worked perfectly well, and uh, it is what it is. Talking about that penalty, I heard you were saying, oh, Sylvia would have stepped up for it. I think, you know, maybe psychologically, he saw that, no, he wasn't ready for it. 
you know, we had misses and maybe the pressure on him and stuff. So he decided just to, you know, step away. And if he had played it and missed it, mm. it would have been disastrous, guys. It would have been disastrous. Okay, yeah. We might, we might, we might, we might we even have lost yeah. him in this tournament. You know, know, Nigerian fans will never have let him rest if he, if he played that, that penalty. So. That is it. Because it was a very important one that if he had missed it, it would be like, oh, he didn't <laughs> couldn't score, he did this and that. And he stepped out. Somebody else, you know, who had the composure and who had the guts okay. stood up. Ekong, yeah. well done, the King Kong. Credit to Simon for that. Yeah. Credit to Simon. And coach, like you said, um, for, we've been so used to a 4-4-2 from Jose Pacero. The first game he, he coached Nigeria it was a 3-5-2 that he actually played. Three, yeah, yeah, three, five, two, because yeah. we didn't have enough players against Mexico in Dallas. Yeah. We didn't have enough players. So we're forced to play Ekong, Shemi, and Basi. The same three we played today in that game. We didn't really have subs. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Innocent Boke was the holding, but he got injured. When he got injured, we now switched to a 4 4 2. Ever since then, we've been playing this 4 4 2. That is, hasn't brought us any, that really hasn't brought us anything. So today, it shows, not only, not only does it show a tactical mind and a tactical adjustment he was also able to match the ivorians yeah. because they were trying to also dominate that midfield credit to alex Wobi. you know in the in the first game we said he disappeared we said they put out an apb to go and find him where he was he showed up in today's game yeah. you know frank Oyeka, he showed that he was a tank you know and, and, yeah, and as, much as, as, as much as i have always clamored for rafael Oyedika, i saw a game of frank Oyeka today he took one shot that i was like ah frank it's not in your game we leave that to the people that can shoot from there if that was tying i knew that was in the back of the net i'm telling you you know you don't do that you know so like he played he played his his heart out but the one player today Day that I feel like nobody's saying anything about. Is our goalkeeper Stanley Wabali? Oh no! Stanley, I mean, we spoke. We Stanley, spoke about him at the start. No, no. Stanley Wabali. We spoke about him before. Before we started the program, though. We spoke about Stanley Wabali has literally tied. Uh, Francis Zou to the bench. He has wielded Francis Zou's shoes to the bench because the 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 the, the confidence you could see in not just the players but us, the fans, mm -hmm. says a lot. They were. There was one time, I don't know if you guys remember, when um, Pepe had a chance and then he came out. Yes. Not only did he come out and narrow the yeah. angle, he parried the That's ball right. yeah. away. Made himself bigger, it, yeah, and parried the ball. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, look, he might not be the world's best goalkeeper, but just the way he has done right now, eh, he has made us fall in love with the goalkeeper position again. And a lot of Nigerians are not going to start looking at uh, Francis Zou, Zou. Because yes, we won the game. We didn't concede the goal. But most people might have overlooked a couple of things he did in this game. Mm. You know, there was one chance that Zedu tried to nod the ball back to him and literally gave the ball to the Ivorian striker. And then mm. he came out. He, he literally made himself big. And if that was Francis, I know you're lying. If that was Francis, I know you're lying. Yeah. You. See, and, and Slaman, um, to, your, to your point, um, the, what, I, what I was also very impressed with um, Omar Bali for today was the shots that Seko Fofana took. Because it's something that I, I, was, I was looking forward to seeing how he deals with long-range strikes. Again, long-range strikes have killed us in the past. In 2019, my free kick was sent out of AFCON. In, 2020, in 2022, long-range shots, we did not go to World Cup. In the last um, AFCON as well, long-range shots is what knocked us out. So I was curious to see how he would deal with the long-range efforts. And the shot from Fana was a good shot. But what I liked the most was that not only did he save the ball, he saved it and he pushed it to the side, away from danger. Because if you save it and you push it in the middle, somebody can just tap it back in. You know, it's, the, it, was, it still fell to, a, uh, to an Ivorian um, attacker, but at least he gave Zedi Sanusi enough time to come back and block the following shot. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was quite happy with that. Um, Sulaiman, okay, can you please just, I want to bring, we have a lot of requests. So Sulaiman, please, can you just... Um, yeah, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> so no, I can oh, it's fine. I'm, I'm, busy, I'm, I'm busy playing snow anyway. Uh, TT, right. it was good to see you, man. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me throw it. Let me throw it. All right, Sulaiman. All right. Hey, coach, yeah. we're done. We're done. We're done. Night. We're done. Yeah. Coach for night, yeah. We have a cup match on Saturday, semi-final, so... Oh, I'm getting ready. Sorry. Please, 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 please come. Make I go, make I go, make fun of Ghana. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Bye, Bye, yeah. Bye. All right. Uh, well, talking about, let me let me quickly chip in. Then I'll leave. Um. Mwabi and Mwabale, you know, he stood up. We've, we've seen that confidence in him. And let me say, he really surprised me. 
I was, you know, part of the school of thought that were like, no, bringing just Mwabali and the other guy or Joe, two untested keepers, with two Zoho that would believe he's shaky, bringing them to the world to, the, to a big tournament like this, it, it was a big risk. I said it over and over again. But again, maybe the coaches they saw something in him, and he brought in that confidence. And you can see that he doesn't panic. And you can see that passion in him. That's the thing. Nothing at all. And when a keeper is confident, he gives that confidence also to the defense. You see, that defense is not going to be like G3, always like getting themselves pinned to the box because they don't, they're wondering who's behind them and things like that. Okay. So kudos, kudos to him. But he's not been tested so much well because thanks to the defense, time to his own timing. Mm -hmm. He times the ball very, very well. He knows when to come out. And when he comes out, he never misses. That's a good attribute of a goalkeeper again. So kudos to him. Back to the upfront there, you know, let's say the defense, Allah and I was fantastic today. And Basi rose to the occasion. I mean, I mean, I mean, nobody, I mean, the whole team played so, 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 very, so, so well. So, uh, nothing else to add. Osimen, yeah, the chance that he had in the eight minutes, I would say that the ball took a bounce and came up a bit. So, there was no way. Putting his leg automatically, the trajectory went up. So, nobody would blame him for that, actually. But unfortunately, yeah, that was a chance missed. But again, we shouldn't put so much pressure on him. He's already under pressure as Africa's best player. So, if we're going to go find this tournament, like I've been saying, other players need to step up. The likes of the Simons, the Ihana Charles, okay, so if he comes up, the Iwobis, these are the people that, will, that need to carry the team forward so that pressure will not be on uh, your seaman every time. Rather, he should be there as a decoy. You know, let the defender focus on him and let the other people do the bad, you know, do the, do the bad damage and everything. And so. so, congrats, everybody. Uh, I go strike a nice seeing you, TT. Respect again. Thank you, Coach. Bye, Bye everyone. Coach. All right, yeah, back to enjoy business. Training. All right. Um, okay, so, um, Joshua Allah, welcome. But before you go, I want to ask a question. This is not an interview session for um, um, Tai Taiwo. So, I was not asking. <laughs> but some people have been asking me, and I don't know if you want to answer or not. Some people are yeah, saying yeah. that Tai Taiwo, you retired too early from the national team. From, from the national team. Uh... Do you agree? You know why? Because I'm kind of person like I'm like this. I don't like when Nigeria start doing things like this. That is why I decide like, I don't want any problem because I'm like this. Mm. So when I start, when certification was there before, you want to start to do something like this. Then I say, Coach, you have to be honest with me. You cannot say to me like I'm always proud of myself. You cannot say to me, Chichi is better than Taita. No chance. Mm. You can't say that to me. No chance. Because when I was before I started playing. Udeze was there before. I was sitting on the bench watching when he was playing. So when my time is come, I will play, then I will leave, then we will put someone else. So when I start doing, then I really understand. And then and I say, well, there won't be any problem. I'll just say, I just went to him, went to his room. I said, coach, I don't think I will start playing for national team again. He said, why? Well, I said, because I don't like the way you are doing your things. Oh. So then I said, okay, let me just stay in my club and start playing. That's why I forget about the national team then, back in the day. Oh, all right. So I'm not angry about like, okay, why this? Or because everybody has time that you're going to play. Oh. You know, the most important, the time that you play, you do a lot of good things. That is the most important thing. Oh. All right. Thank you for that answer and for that insight. Um, welcome, <laughs> just, trust, just Trust Allah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ayoshi. Our legend, Taitaiwo. We can't hear you. Your voice is low. We can't hear what you're saying. Can you hear me? Your yeah, voice is very low. Am I audible? Am I audible? It's better now. Yes, yes go on. Yeah. Okay, our legend, Nice seeing you here. Yeah. Uh, IoT and yeah. uh, Smith Lai. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Tai Taiwo, the little time you play for yes. us, the memory, we still have the memory in our brain. And uh, we always look back. <laughs> and we are proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, you. Is, thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Quite a long time that uh, a little tactics from the bench we always make a difference. And the difference we saw today was just tactics we've always been clamoring for. It's always been four, 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 two. So today a little slight changes, three, five, two, and we see how compacted the team was. I never give give them any chance. I thought every coach is going to win. In fact, I predicted three one. But funny enough, we we're able to actually beat them. But not just beating them alone. We we're able to call, we we're able to contain them in the front of their what's it called of their of their fans. And one more thing that I really like about the team today is uh, the approach from the coach 
and the discipline from the player, especially when we are not with the ball. Horn and hop the ball movement was so fantastic today. Right from uh, the, the goalkeeper, the confidence level of the goalkeeper, to the defence, how compatible. I think for quite a long time, today is the first time we are playing a game without conceding goal, if I'm correct. Maybe yeah. for like six, seven yeah. matches. Yeah, you're right. Playing game without conceding, without conceding goal. So we have to give kudos to those defence. And... Uh, uh, the little thing we need to look forward to, everybody, the people that spoke earlier, they've spoken a lot about it, in, is that uh, I think we need to look at the rate at which you are creating chances and at the rate at which you are converting chances. Because this game, the match we played today, we only had one shot on target, which was the penalty. That was the penalty. So we need to create more chances to have more, chance, more uh, scoring chances. Then anything after that, I think the coach should just build on this. Congratulations to Nigeria. Congratulations to the player and congratulations to the coach. I'm very, very happy with the, with the performance. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, please go off from your side so I can bring somebody else up. Um, Smith Lai, our Nigerian football encyclopedia. Welcome. Yes, I hate the panel. I hate... Sorry, um, let me just tell um, Tai Tai, before you go, Tai Tai, this man I have seen on your, on your um, screen, eh, yeah. he can tell you more about your matches <laughs> than, than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, big name. I hate you. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Welcome to the program as well. Yeah, I hate you. You know, it's a privilege to actually what, be on the same forum with you, you know. And um, I want to appreciate what you did for Nigeria. If some people don't appreciate Thank it, you it, very we appreciate much. We know Thank you, Thank you, you always give 120%, 150%. We know Thank that. Thank you. Thank I don't you. go talk about the match. I just follow you. Come here. Okay. I want you to ask you. <laughs> I said I'm here for you to have an okay. Um The first thing that we say basically is this: you were like the last few, the last few players that let the Kudik to go and play abroad. Since yeah. that generation of you, Apa, hmm? no, we know they see anything from the Kudigo. Please talk about it. Uh, Two. <laughs> My second question. Two. Yeah. Um. You played for nearly all the national team in one year. You were playing under 20, you were playing super good, you know, everything. You were mm -hmm. like the beautiful bride in Nigeria. Yeah. Then. So, how does yeah. that one actually what make you feel? And second, and the third question is this Your goal against Ukraine in 205 under 20, did you mean that goal or you just uh, that goal you score for second round against Ukraine? On that 21 yeah. call. Yeah. Did you mend that go then? Or, you know, because it was with the right foot? Yeah, absolutely. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> and my final question is this. Ah, wait. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Let him not forget your question. Let him answer the one that you asked. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're the only one in that. The first one, uh, the first one is about that. Uh, because if you have passion for it, though, mm -hmm. you know, from the local league, if you go to national, if you have passion for it, I'm kind of puzzled. Uh, then back in the days, I have passion for it. Like, as soon as they even invite me to go to the Super Eagles, that gave me joy. I play, I didn't play, I was very happy because with my teammates then, I said, wow. I cannot mm -hmm. imagine I was in Super Eagles, they invite me. Mm -hmm. Then I have passion for so, like, I always say to myself, that is one guy that used to know me back in the days, I say to myself that, like, one day I'm going to play for Nigeria, but I'll wait mm -hmm. for the time. I have this belief in my mind before, when I was in Nigeria, I say, well, one day I'm going to wear this shirt to play very well for Nigeria, but I wait for the right time to play. Mm -hmm. Then the second leg is because like when the goal I score against Ukraine, I wanted to because I have, have like a couple of players like I think Ojono uh, Wiri, mm -hmm. I think we have another player in the boss. I've tried to cross the ball because like Sam C C C tie, you know what we're going to do? Because mm -hmm. if you position the ball with your left foot, try the right foot to bring the ball in and cross it. Maybe we can get so they say, Well, let me just try. Then I don't try with my right foot. The bell was in. I said, well, oh, yeah. I'm very lucky on this one. So. Yeah, that day, eh, you were doing like this. Saying I'm brain, you. So, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay, to answer that question, my last question is this. You know, one yeah. of your best AFCON was Francis AFCON. You scored yeah. the goal that, uh, you know, that, uh, like, the best goal in that tournament. You know, we were about to draw against Ghana. Suddenly... Aguila just, uh, Zubaila just yeah. passed to you and you just wired the shot. See, that they said, if you like, quick pick, who is the way they watch? 
<laughs> we didn't know how the world enter. I want to ask you, why do you think, say, you know when that have condemned? Because that team they talented. What do you uh, think you know, went wrong? Because like I will say this point now, because why we don't win that after 2016 because of the NFL we have then. Because when we finish mm. the game, I think we finish the game, like then we're having a meeting. We say, let's leave this night mm -hmm. because we're going to drive all the I, way. Yeah, just leave down. And then yeah. I think it's like maybe like I don't know how many hours we're going to drive with the ball. We say, as soon as we finish the game, we, we say to them, let's leave tonight. Then we can arrive the next day in the morning for the pitch that we're going to play against Ivy Coast. Mm -hmm. They say no because we have to stay there. Then when they say they're going to stay there, then it's very difficult for them. We left in the morning. We get there. They will go to practice. Then the next day we need to play the semi-final. Mm -hmm. So all this two and also every most, most all of us like me, your baby, one of us, we tired. We can't just say to the coach that coach, can we stay on the bench? Then some players can play. Then people back home they will say, Why you don't put tire? Why you don't put this? Why you don't do that? But we are the one that know because we said to the NFL, because we have a meeting, we say it's better we leave now after this game. Then people will get there. We still have like two days to rest, but say they say no. But what can we do? We cannot argue with them. So that is the problem we don't win the the afternoon back in the day, the 26th. All right. Thank you very much, King Titi. Um, guys, we're almost coming to the end of this post-match live show. So if you have any questions, just type it in the comments. You can click on that question mark on the bottom of your screen, and you can leave your question there so that it doesn't get overcrowded. Um, but welcome to the show, um, Yasin Adli. Now, that's not my actual name, but my name is Okwe. Yeah. Okay. My name is Okwe. I'm calling from, I'm calling from Atlanta. I just want to say thank you for having me on and tie it away. You're a legend for awesome. the you're welcome. You're welcome. I, play your, I play your position too. I watch your games. I learn from you too. Really? <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your service. Um, just something you're quick. Welcome. I think I was here on the last live and I was watching as everybody mm -hmm. was clamoring the Super Ego, shouting that how can we draw to Equatorial Guinea, saying that oh, Perseri does not have any tactics. Equatorial Guinea just won 4 1. And I was like, I was literally saying the AFCON is not easy. We can see, we saw every other That's Algeria true. drew. Algeria drew, um, Ghana drew, Ghana lost, Namibia won, but teams, this is not even AFCON. AFCON is a different tournament from Euros, from World Cup. AFCON is not the same. I was telling everyone, relax. AFCON is not easy. We created chances against Equatorial Guinea. We just didn't finish our chances. Zaidu Sanusi had two, Osime missed. I just, I knew we would be fine. When I saw this lineup, I was shocked. I was like, oh, wow. Five or three at the back. I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too... I was like, okay, let's just see when we get in the game. And we play phenomenally. Like, Stanley Noabali, amazing performance. I think that's probably my man of the match because people don't understand People don't understand how crazy he has been without a good keeper. He's so calm. He's so composed. He's so real. He doesn't put any stress. It was a phenomenal performance. People aren't really talking about um, Onyeka. Onyeka played amazingly. Like, that DM position, he picked up his man. He didn't dive on the ball. He cleared the ball when the time came. He had a phenomenal performance. I think I don't really have a... My only problem with the attack because I think I heard someone about talking about creating chances. My only problem with the attack is the conversion and decision making. We are creating a silly amount of chances. Like that's the reason why we're shouting that oh we're not finishing our chances because we are creating so many. Usimen had one. Usimen had the header. We beat them on the counter numerous times. But decision making is just so poor. Decision making and execution. Chiku is a, a simple pass to Lukman. We saw what Absolutely. happened. Like to do, but Chico is there, hasn't played, hasn't been playing a lot of games for AC Milan. He's just back in the He's very hard, we yeah. To, we need to give the guys time, relax, calm down. Against Guinea Bissau, we'll play and we'll play again. But I'm really like I'm really looking forward to what we have to do. If we look at the last AFCON, we won all our games in the group stage and lost a round of 16. Oh yeah, now let's see now. This one we drew our first game, we won our second game. Even if, if, well, I hope we don't, but even if we lose to Guinea-Bissau tomorrow, I won't even be phased because the competition is not easy. We just need to keep going. Absolutely, and the weather is very hot. Yeah, also. Very hot. It's hard to play in Africa. It's very hard to play. The, field, to the, play. Field, the play. field is not that good. You can see that the ball yeah. has different bounces. Like, AFCON is a different tournament from every other tournament. If you think you're coming, to, if you think you're coming here to play football, you're in for a shocker because you're coming here for war. These guys are coming here to to battle and, and Nigeria really battled today. So yeah, it was a good performance from all the team. All right. All right. Thank you very much, yeah. Okwe. Please uh, just go off from your side. Yep. Um, if you would like to come on for these last five, ten minutes, 
please i can't see the request anymore so just type it in the comments they are if you slipping want to i think on. sorry they are watching ghana's game oh, yeah. so if you want to come <laughs> on for this last five minutes just type it in the comments and i'll bring you on very quickly so that we can let everybody go and watch egypt beat ghana um you know at least I'm, I'm hoping that egypt can beat ghana today um, <laughs> but king titi somebody's asking which club are you playing for right now are you still playing ah uh, that's a good question though you know because like the most important thing for a football player either you have a club you don't have a club you only to keep yourself mm. like let the ball roll you need to keep yourself fit you know mm. that's what we used to you can't just soak alive for example like uh, that was the day I was talking with a uh, big name also Yakuba. He used to run all the time. I said Yakuba, never invite me to come around with you. When you are playing, you don't even have to. You don't want to train, but now you are keeping yourself fit. That's nice. You know, it's very nice. All right, That's all right. Um, I did not know. I'm trying to bring you on. Let's see if Instagram lets me. I think Instagram is starting to glitch. You know, maybe they want us to go and to go and. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but fantastic results um, nevertheless absolutely, um, Hoops, absolutely you know one new win against the host nation now looking forward to the third match you know against guinea bissau um i mean i want us to win every match so of course i want us to win but i think it's also an opportunity mm -hmm. for you know maybe one or two players to rest a little bit and for some other players to come looking i mean we can't look too far ahead but with four points on the board we have a very good chance of qualification now you know you know you know for me on my point of view on my point of view is that because like when they won the game now i don't know who is the nff now they will start to do they want to try to bring one new player they want to try to change everything now because like, this is why we, this is how we, we we always do in our things before they say coach you have to as one player i need to sell to a young body so on they will start to okay like they will start to change it you know what i'm saying but the main mentality they use today if they take this because i watch just a good game also this afternoon when they are playing i watch that game when they are playing it's not maybe like the team their defense is they cannot hold it out see man but at least we should just take the game to them we don't need to hold it that we want to be in order to score the goal we take our time if you get one point you get through to the next round so the most important thing start the ball let them come get one ball score goal defend and get the three points but this kind of game because then they want to win also. If they're playing against them, they want to come all out yeah. to win. But if we, we just don't want to give them the three points, like, it's okay, we just allow them to get the three points. No, we need to stay focused on the game because now we want to play against maybe the last in the group. Okay, maybe it's easy for us. It's not the same. We approach the game like Ivory Coast. This is not Ivory Coast. is because it's very hard to play. Yeah. So we need to take the game to the same thing. For me, I don't know why the coach would try to change anybody. Put the same thing on the field. Let them do the same job so that we get three points. They will know, okay, we'll rest for the next round. For me, on my point of view, you know what I'm saying? Okay. No, and I respect I didn't say all, I didn't, I didn't say the other player that on the bench, they are bad players also. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say they are very bad because I was showing Musa, maybe he was angry, maybe he wants to go on the field also. I don't know. So, because they show his face, you know? So, like, for me, it's not maybe like, is a bad player or I made a Musa. You know, everybody have time that's going to play. But the boys are playing now, they have more quality what they're using now. Because then the most important thing again from Nigeria, because we have we need to learn how to start the game from the back a little bit sometimes, not every time. Boom, boom. You know, at least to relax past the ball a little bit. Because if you move the ball quicker, we only get chances. You know, I'm saying like look man one against one, nobody can hold him. All right, so, I, I love, hopefully, I love that I insight, hope. you know, from, from you. Um, I did not think he answered this question, but I did not think he's asking it again. That the two chances that Zedu missed against Equatorial Guinea, he said that you would have scored it, you know. Who? No, the two chances that um Sanusi missed in the first match, I did not think he's saying that he's sure that you would have scored it, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, but like for me, the first game, why I don't comment so much that first game because it's the first game they're going to play in Africa, because whether it's hot, you know. They are they are in Europe now that is whether it's cold here in Europe. So if you jump there, the first game, kind of more at least, they will be getting more better and better. Like today's game, now the next game, they're going to approach it with the confidence also. Then you see the next game of Zima is going to score. Mm. Somebody is asking you, King Titi, where are you based now? Me, I'm living in Milano. Where do you want me to stay? Want me to, so want me to stay in London? You, are you watching Chukwezi's matches frequently? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. That is not a game they are playing in Italy. I always watch the game, though. So that is why I say, like, Chukwezi is a shame for him. Like, 
he come to the club like Milan, they don't give him the opportunity to play every game that he was playing uh, Villarreal because Italian Milan team is kind of kind of different, all this kind of like uh, Italian this. They, they will not give you, you have the quality, but they will not give you the chance to play because they know if they give you, their boys is not going to play. This is how it works. Mm. All right. Somebody is asking, um, what is your favorite European and Nigerian team? Hmm. I don't mean you any. My son. Ah. My son for life. <laughs> what Olympic Nigerian team? What's your favorite Nigerian team? Ah, uh, let me see. That is a good question. Also, ah, uh, because there is a lot of games that we play. Because there is one. Let me see. Ah. Uh, it's very hard to question to even answer the question because it's a very good question though. It's, it's very hard for me to even say, okay, this is what I'm going to say. This is my favorite one, this one, this one. So it's hard for me. Oh. Okay. Ade Dotun said, please tell Taye Taiwo that I'm a diehard Milan fan since 1992. Really? Yeah. Wow, that sounds yeah, yeah. good. So, yeah. Um, so yes, um, guys, I'm sorry. I've been trying to bring people on, but it's not letting me bring anybody else on. Um, so we'll just round up, you know, call it a night. Um, Super Eagles, of course, won one nil against Ivory Coast. Goal scored by William Ekong from the penalty spot. Penalty won by Victor mm -hmm. Osime. King Titi, my final question to you before I let you go. After mm -hmm. the first two matches of this AFCON, where do you think Nigeria will finish this tournament? What's your prediction? Where will we finish this tournament? First of all, let's qualify for the group first. No, so I, don't want, go I, to... don't want, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> because like, if I say to you that we'll go more farther, I don't know what's going to happen in the next game. You know, because sometimes the legs will get tired, like for example, like we have four days to rest before you play next game. Then when you get into the corner final, you have like four days. Then the semi-final, you will, maybe you rest for two days before you play or three days. So it's hard. So I can't just say like, okay, for me, I think we can go more farther. To the final, if you have this attitude that we bring today, with this determination that all the boys they're working together as a team, defending, running like you know, like this attitude, if we bring the same attitude, I think we'll go more far. Oh, so final, if you think we'll reach the final, yeah, if you, with this attitude, you know what I'm saying, but if you will start talking okay, like we are in Ghana, we win the game, we try to no, 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 this is not I work. We have to forget about the game. We put this game in the trash. Put it those men and to look forward to the next game. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Legendary. You're Taiwo, welcome. Taiwo, thank you for joining the post match show. It's You're been welcome. a pleasure talking You're to welcome. you. And hopefully we catch up again sometime soon. Absolutely. No problem. All right. No thank problem. You. Though. You. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right. All right yeah. Ciao. 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 Okay. So there you have it, guys. Um, fantastic game. Fantastic show. Um, I was joined by the legend, Tai Taiwo. Um, I also had another legend, Vincent Inyama, join earlier in the show as well. And, you know, we're all happy. Everybody, you can go and eat your jollof rice, eat your paned yam, you know, make a nice dinner for yourself and celebrate um, the victory tonight. Um, the boys, you know, can enjoy it for tonight. But after this night, they have to get back, you know, on their horses, get back on their bikes and know that another big game against Guinea-Bissau is coming up in only... For this time on monday you know weekend usually goes by fast so monday they have to be ready again take on guinea bissau you know if we can win that game we qualify as probably first or second in the group um hopefully first you know because we beat ivory coast as well and it should be an exciting it should be an exciting one um so yes thank you very much guys it's been a pleasure uh, make sure you are following the page against um guinea bissau after the match i'm going to have another two 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 top players um, that are playing for that played for Nigeria will join the show as well. Um, throughout this AFCON, we're going to bring you legend after legend, ex super ego after ex super ego to give you their insights, their unique point of views as professionals that have been there, done that, you know. And we'll keep on enjoying the shows, we'll keep on enjoying the super egos, and we wish them all the best. Somebody said, IoT, what do you think Yusuf would have brought today if he played? I don't want to discuss if, but you know, what Yusuf could have done or what could have done. He didn't play, the boys that played had a fantastic game. There's no need for us to ponder on what might have been. Um, thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Make sure you are following the page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a post-match review for the podcast as well. And more and more exciting shows to come in the future. I'm based in Canada. If you want to come and visit me, feel free. Thank you very much, guys. My name is IOT. This is Eagle Strike Out of Nigerian Football. Bye-bye.